Number one, yo. Did my shirt get smaller? I feel like my shirt was a lot bigger than this before. I don't know. It just feels like... You feel me? You get... I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Welcome back to another video, guys. I've realized that a lot of you guys want to do this YouTuber thing um, because it seems fun, which it is fun. Recently, I've been getting a lot of comments and DMs from you guys asking, you know, for tips on how to vlog and how to do this thing because honestly becoming a vlogger or do, doing lifestyle content in general i would say it's probably the hardest way to get into content just because getting people to view into your boring life right it's just me you know i'm not doing anything crazy i'm not traveling the world it's just me camera that's it so today i'm gonna be telling you guys how i grew to over 1,000 subscribers with only my personality and a camera so with that being said let's get into the video I feel like a lot of people don't start YouTube because they feel like they're not crazy enough or they're not entertaining enough. And I want to say this right now. Even the most shittiest of people have friends. Come here. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. You don't have to be this crazy, energetic person. Everybody likes somebody, right? Um, you know, when I first started YouTube, I thought that, you know, I had to, you know, be outgoing, go crazy, talk to a lot of people, not realizing that if I enjoy something, more than likely, Nine times out of 10, there's gonna be somebody else that likes the same thing as me. So as long as I'm be myself and just enjoy the process of making videos, then eventually I will grow that audience. And another small tip I wanna give you guys is, don't think about YouTube in an algorithm. So for vloggers or people that's in lifestyle, I guess I should say, trying to follow an algorithm and click-through rate and retention, all of that is going to make you make content where it's not authentic to yourself and your audience. If they're coming to view you and you're not being you then they're not going to want to watch don't worry about algorithm don't worry about retention that will come as long as you as long as you do the things that you're interested in the people that are interested in that thing too will watch let's get into the tips and the things that i did you know a lot of people might not agree they might not you know but it uh number one okay so this might sound insane but move to a major city I know this might sound a little crazy, like, Ty, why the fuck would I move to a major city to do YouTube? But honestly, moving to Miami has made making content so much easier, and it literally has changed my channel, not only just for the channel, but my life also. You know, living here has been a blast. Of course, you don't have to move to a major city to be successful on YouTube. You can still grow YouTube being wherever you're at. As long as the content is good, you can really be anywhere, but if you do want to make it a little easier, moving to a major city will work. I recommend Miami just because not only one, you know, it's a beautiful city, you know, beautiful people. I do believe it's the cheapest major city in the U.S. I don't know for sure. I'm pretty, I know it's cheaper than New York. New York is crazy. Not only can you make videos wherever you live, but I mean, you get to live in a brand new location, make new friends, and just, you know, be able to show that part of you through YouTube. That's what really got me started was me just letting everything go and just recording what I was going through and just, you know, not not worrying about making it look pretty or making it look good or making it sound interesting, just recording my life. I guess I should mention, since I'm already out here, tip number two, vlogging is storytelling. So I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but nobody gives a fuck about you. You have to capture them in a different way. And the way you do that is through storytelling. Beginning, middle, end. That is the name of the game. Every video that you make, you want to tell a story in some way. And it can be from the most mundane to the most interesting. Try to plan out the video in a way where you can tell a story that could captivate an audience. So for me, I remember one video I made, I titled it, I think I'm so tired of being broke. And it was literally me just going to the ATM and putting cash in my bank and coming back home. And I made it a whole vlog where it got, I think it got like a thousand plus views at this point. And literally all I did was a day, shit, a day before I posted a video or recorded the video, I just thought in my head, okay, I know I'm going to the ATM. What am I going to say in the morning? And then as I'm walking to the ATM, what am I going to say? And then how am I going to end the video in an entertaining way? And I thought about it for like 10 minutes and doing just that has took my videos from getting an average view duration of like 20 seconds to damn near 10 minutes. I think one of my videos had like 15 minutes of average view duration, which is insane. You guys understand how hard it is to get people to watch long form content on your life. It is damn near impossible. Humans have always instinctually just enjoy stories of rising action, 
climax and then resolution remember that shit in school guys that shit was important in english class you know i was lucky enough that i actually paid attention but i know a lot of guys didn't pay attention and now they're looking like oh my god how do i grow youtube you know it's all you know they try to teach us in school you know rising action climax falling action resolution blah 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 every single vlogger lifestyle channel even you know even just you know guys that do like finance or something they all use storytelling to an element okay so now that i'm done with that little spiel let me get back home because i did have to ride out here that's a cute little bird chirping okay but i did have to ride out here to do that little bit you know talk about the city right um so let me get back home and uh let's keep the video going yeah sadness happiness inspiration intrigue pain fear whatever emotion try to create an experience for the viewer i've created my content in a way to where when you watch it you feel like you're in the video with me it's an experience together when you watch a video like this it just seems less you don't respect it as much you know it just seems less quality like you're less willing to you know like it because you don't want to be seen as the guy that likes something that's trash right so try to make your videos you know an experience through emotions every single youtuber regardless of niche uses music to enhance the user experience i used to make the mistake of using music at inappropriate times so make sure if you do use a song that it actually matches the mood and the aesthetic of the video so don't use you know some old country music don't use random just you know 2016 random beat you know random youtube beat. no one wants to hear that the minute you hear just a generic beat you know you just feel it just feels like ah uh, this is just the same as that you know so you want to stand out you don't want to be the same creator as everybody else because obviously growing a channel through personality you want to stand out and be known for you so when you're using music try to find and take time i've took you know i sat down for some nights you know, two or three hours just looking for good songs because you don't want to have the mistake of using generic, just random songs. You know, try to make, a, try to find the gems. There are some out there, you know, if you want to. The way you know a song is good is if you can listen to it without anything else, you know, no lyrics, you know, other random stuff, just the, just the instrumental itself, and you can listen to it the entire time and actually enjoy it, you know you have a good one. Be yourself. I know this is cliche. You've heard it a thousand times. Oh my God, be yourself, we know. No, guys. So many people out there are making the mistake thinking they're being themselves when they're really not. When I say be yourself, I mean don't think of YouTube as an algorithm or this system that you have to conquer because what YouTube really is, at the end of the day, is it's looking, it's trying to put your videos in front of people. And what are people? Well, they're people. They're, they're living things. They have experiences. They have love. They, hate, they have hates. They have taste. You have to think of YouTube in a way, how can I be liked by other people? Stop thinking in, oh, okay, so this number here and this percent, because that's going to leave you, you know, to keep looking at the numbers, keep doing robotic things, and no one wants to watch a robot, especially if you're trying to do vlogs. No one wants to watch that. So don't think of YouTube as this, you know, algorithm. Try to always just be yourself. Whatever you want to do, I would say just post it, you know, record it, edit it, post it. If it does bad, always think to yourself, okay, this video, even if the video does bad, I believe that this is a good video. Now, if you look at it in you know, hindsight and go, okay, this I see what this is about, this is trash. If you go back and look at a video that's a 10 out of 10 and you watch it and you still think that this is a good video, then honestly, it might just be a good video and it might not be as time. So don't beat yourself up about it. But I will say one thing, being yourself makes making content so much easier. You know, back when I first started, I used to make videos that I thought were gonna give me views and you know, they did. They, they, you know, they did help me, you know, in the beginning, but it wasn't videos that I enjoy making, you know, making content that I don't enjoy making, that I'm trying to force myself to make, that I'm not being congruent with myself is so much harder because, you know, you're just fighting against yourself to make content and YouTube should never be that. I never started YouTube to have another job. I started YouTube to have fun because I enjoy making videos, keep the content fun, keep it short, keep it simple and keep it happy. This is probably going to rub a lot of people the wrong way, but I believe, yes, Consistency matters, but I think in 2024, quality beats consistency. If you're making consistent bad videos, right, meaning that no one's really watching, no one wants to click them, and they do click it, they're clicking the fuck off immediately. Now, obviously, through consistency grows development, you know, you'll get better at your craft, you'll get better at the camera, editing, the whole, you know, thing. If you try to focus on quality videos, I guarantee you, eventually your skills will get to a point where 
you're just undeniable. You know, you're just, you're that, you're him. You know, you're that guy. You do your videos, every video you drop is good, it's quality. Nobody can really say, okay, that guy's all right, but some of his videos are kind of, no, all your videos are hidden on points. I'm not saying consistency doesn't matter. Obviously stay consistent. You know, don't just drop one video that's really good and dip out for two, three months, no. But make sure if you are consistent that you're improving your skills, you're trying to get the best quality out of your video. And that leads me to number five. Of course, I have to mention, thumbnail and title. So I know, probably most of you just side, you know, Ty, we know, th the thumbnail title, make sure blah, blah, blah. I have a little bit of a different opinion. You know, a lot of people out there would say use SEO and make sure your title is, you know, SEO friendly, make sure all the tags are in place. But in my opinion, some of my titles that did really good were kind of chaotic. It didn't really make sense. It was a lot of mess. When you're more original, for some odd reason, it works a bit more because when someone's looking for your type of content, they're looking for something they've never seen before because more than likely, they've probably been scroll they scrolling, like, oh, I want to find somebody new. I've been watching the same people talk about the same thing. And if you just come in doing the same thing everybody else is doing, following the same SEO, following the same everything, you're not going to stand out. When making a thumbnail, you know, instead of trying to make it look all pretty and nice, some of my best thumbnails were kind of chaotic and kind of didn't make any sense, but kind of was just intriguing. You know, it was somebody new, like, who was that guy? And that kind of looks cool. If you're trying to grow YouTube through personality, right? You know, just be original, be you. Don't think about, I've said, I already said this, but don't think about it analytically. If you're gonna take anything from this video, don't think of YouTube as this like, machine you gotta conquer because that's the root of like of all your problems. You think, you're thinking of YouTube as this, I don't know, like this machine that I, you can't, you have to beat or you have to master or it's just holding you back. It's not holding you back. In 2024, Subscribers really don't matter, honestly. You know, it really all comes down to engagement and views. So even if you're at one subscriber or even zero, zero subscribers, you the way YouTube pushes videos is all browse-based. So as long as you have a good video, that video can get pushed and you can start your career pretty early on, to be honest with you. It's, it's hard, it's probably not likely, but it is possible. Oh, and for lifestyle channels, you know, your face helps, you know, just putting your face out there, you know, looking good helps too. You know, I'm not saying you gotta be the prettiest motherfucker, you know, I don't think I'm the best looking guy, you know, I'm all right, but you know, your face helps, you know, just showing your face. Cause when people are scrolling, eventually they get used to what you look like. And the minute they see your face, they're gonna click. So that's a little life hack, little gem that you guys can use. You don't have to be fancy. So many people don't start YouTube because of the excuse of, I don't have a camera, I don't have a map book, or I don't have this, I don't have that. You don't need none of that. You don't need it, you know? A lot of YouTubers, mo I'm pretty sure Mr. Beast, the, I think he's what, has like 100 million subscribers now. I think he got to his first million with his phone, his fucking phone which is crazy. At the end of it, the only thing that matters is content. If the content isn't good, it doesn't matter how fancy a camera you have, it doesn't matter how many editing techniques you know, it doesn't matter which filter you put on a camera, it doesn't matter, none of that matters. If your content isn't good, if you're not talking, if you can't speak, it doesn't matter. Now I know I said in the beginning that quality matters over you know, consistency and all of that, which is true. I'm not saying that, you know, you don't need a camera so you can just throw up some bullshit. No, make sure it still looks good. So these days, the iPhone can record pretty well. I'm pretty sure it goes up to 4K, like 120 frames and stuff. Amazing technology. So when I say you don't need fancy stuff, I'm not saying to go buy a rinky dink, you know, the, the oldest camera you can go find for 10 bucks and record. No, if you have a phone and it records and the camera isn't cracked, you can use that. You know, I hate to admit this, but you kind of have to be a professional with YouTube, meaning you have to, pretty much master every technique of entertainment industry. You gotta learn how to edit, how to be on camera, how to use a camera, how to use lighting, how to use audio, how to, you know, mix. I just got monetized, so now I gotta learn the business side of YouTube, how to, you know, use brand deals. All, you have to learn everything. And with that, when you're by yourself and no one teaches you, because there's no school, there's no YouTube school on how to be a YouTuber, you just gotta kinda figure this out and kinda hope you know, you can learn the mistakes before they happen. I've been doing YouTube since I was like 12 years old. So I've been, you know, on and off editing for like 10 years at this point. And I finally feel like I got to a point where I can kind of edit. I'm still not a pro. Like I still can't do like the crazy stuff. I can, I can, you know, do my thing. You know, I'm not an amateur, but I had to learn everything by myself. 
you know, through, honestly, I learned it through YouTube. And to be honest with you, you're not going to start off great. You know, when you first start off your channel, even after like the first couple months, it's not good content. And, you know, like I said, you don't have to be fancy. You know, just start off slow. Start off just trying to make whatever you can, you know. Enjoy the process. YouTube is meant to be fun, you know. and not It's not meant to feel like a job. A lot of people start YouTube. I know probably you started YouTube because you didn't want to work a job the rest of your life. You wanted that sense of freedom and relief and stress free from your life, right? So don't start YouTube and immediately turn into a business. Of course, think of it as a business because it technically is, but don't think of a business as in like, it's my job. You know, think of it as like, okay, this is my fun little business that I get to work on. So if you have to, remember why you started a YouTube channel. I know for me, I started it because honestly, I just, I always been kind of an outcast, you know? I I wouldn't say I have a hard time making friends because I, tr I really don't, to, to be honest, you know, I don't, if I really wanted to, I can make as many friends as I wanted. But I never really cared for what other people cared for. You know, a lot of people care about partying, you know, drugs, alcohol, whatever. What the fuck people do these days, these teenagers? I never really had an interest in stuff like that. So I always wanted to find a place where people kind of thought like me. And I can find people that's kind of like me, that we have the same interests. You know, we can kind of talk about the same things and just, you know, not have to worry about the random nonsense that don't really matter. I also wanted to travel, you know. Fun fact about me, I've never been on a plane. I don't even know if I have a fear of airplanes yet because I've never been on one. So, you know, I want to travel. I want to see the world. I want to experience this one life I was given. I want to see things. Also, I want to live wherever I please, you know. Right now, of course, I live in Miami, crazy city. I'm actually blessed to be here, but I'm kind of, in a way, forced. You know, if I really wanted to, I couldn't really move anywhere else because, you know, I need money for, you know, down deposit and all that type of stuff like if i wanted to move to new york i have to i would have to have you know money for the lease and down deposit pack up get the plane move out there which i don't have the means for so to, in a way i'm kind of forced to be in miami in a way but i've always wanted the freedom to live wherever i want it i literally have it on my vision board as you can see i want to live in new york you know and that's why i started the youtube so i can you know have those freedoms and do the things that I've actually always wanted to do. So you gotta ask yourself, you know, why just start a YouTube? I get that a lot of people can get stuck in the, you know, algorithm train and I gotta hack this or I gotta figure out this number or, okay, I'm now making money, how can I make the most? And in the end, you know, you're starting to lose your passion or the reason you started the channel in the first place. And you, be, you start to become, you know, like every other channel, you know, just grabbing for money. And then you start to fade into obscurity and, Nobody really cares about you anymore. No and that is probably one of the worst things that can happen for a creator because when you first started, you know, you were so loved and people enjoy the content. But when you change and you become this shell of yourself and you just start doing things that you don't want to do, but you, it's going to get you views or money or whatever, people start to see that and people really don't fuck with that. So keep it fun, keep it happy, keep it simple. And with that being said, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, blah, 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 do all your stuff. Yeah, you know, if you're new to the channel. If you're not, then thank you for watching today. I love you. Goodbye.